Welcome to another Financially Fabulous episode. I'm Lee Moore, and while I'm not a financial planner, I'll show you what I've learned. Today I'm gonna to be talking about lending money to friends. Come on, this will be awesome. Should you lend money to friends? Hmm. This one is actually a toughie. My answer is both of course and absolutely not. I've lent money to friends more than a handful of times and all but once I actually got the money back. And I'll tell you that story. So, you know, when somebody asks for money, it's really a lot more than just saying yes or no. There's quite a few factors you're gonna wanna take into consideration. The first one is what do they even need the money for and how did they get themselves into that what will often be called emergency. You want to understand what's going on in their life. Was it truly something that sideswiped them? Because that really happens and not everyone has an emergency plan or emergency funds stashed away. Number two, you want to understand what in fact is the root cause because we've all heard of people asking for money and sometimes it tends to be that same person asking for money time and time and time again. And so just giving them money is not actually going to solve it. Thirdly, you want to know how are you going to get that money back? Because it's all great and dandy if you save them, but what about you? You've worked really hard, you've made that income, you've stashed it away, you haven't spent it on your life, you need to make sure that you understand how you're going to get that money back. Whether you're going to get it back all as a lump sum or if you're going to get it back over a short period of time, a series of small payments, what that's going to look like but you wanna understand how they're gonna even have the money to pay you back. You wanna understand all of the implications before you offer to give them the fund. Number four, and this one is so important, trust your gut. Like, you may really care about this person and love this person and really wanna help them, but you have to trust your gut on if they're gonna give you the money back. If you think what they need the money for is something that's actually credible, something that you would allocate your own hard-earned funds to. Number five, you wanna understand what are the terms and the schedule of them paying you back. I've done terms and schedules that are as complicated as, I don't know, multiple page contracts. And that's when I was working with someone who was really intelligent and they really wanted to prove to me how they were gonna give me the money back. I've also lent money where literally all I've done is give my girlfriend a hug. I knew that she was in a really tough situation. I knew that it wasn't her fault and we had talked about all of the terms. So writing out a crazy contract, I didn't feel like it was something that I needed to do. But it's up to you to figure out what is the right thing within your relationship. Lending money to a friend can actually be really tricky and it can really pull on your heartstrings because sometimes you really wanna help somebody but at the same time you realize that lending the money isn't necessarily going to be the answer. I'll give you an example. I actually ended up lending uh, money to a gentleman that I was dating. This is quite a number of years ago. We'd only been dating for a few months and he needed about $3,000 in order to go to an event where he was doing this big pitch for his business and he asked me if he could have those funds. Now for me, it wasn't something that I really felt comfortable doing and I share this lesson because one of the things I tell you to do is trust your gut. Even though I wasn't that comfortable with it, he said to me, well, don't you have faith in your man? Oh, like my heart sunk. I had been dating him for just a short period of time. Um, and you know, if it was someone I wasn't dating, there's no way I would have given them that, those funds. I ended up giving them to him. He did end up paying me back. We only dated for about five months or so. Um, but you know, I think probably what I should have done in hindsight is really just trust my gut. But it's tough when someone pulls on your heartstrings. I have another girlfriend that I've lent money to and I actually lent her money twice and the second time that I lent her the funds I said to her listen I love you we have talked about all the root causes this is the very last time I can lend you money and I am standing totally firm on that and she came to me one more time um, after that and asked me if she could borrow funds she was again in a tight situation but what I realized is just giving her money wasn't necessarily helping her. And I had said to her that third time she came back to me, like, I meant it. When I said I'm not giving you funds a third time, like, I am, I'm really sorry and this is really hard for me because I really wanna help you, 
but I'm not giving you those funds. But I did help her to figure out how she could make a little bit of extra income so she could get through that tricky situation. That brings me to my tweetable today. Sometimes lending money to a friend hurts them more than helps them. There is one situation where I didn't get my money back and I, I wanted to share that with you because it does often happen. And this is a situation that came up a number of years ago. It was actually with one of my dance partners. So I don't know if you know, but I was dancing with a Latin dance company for almost nine years professionally. It was a crazy life. I would train nine to midnight and travel on the weekends and do shows, but I loved it. Regardless, so I was working with one particular dance partner and he came into one rehearsal like completely bawling and in tears. And like for me to see this like big, strong, burly man in complete tears, really really shook me to the core anyways after rehearsal we popped by his place and it had just been ransacked all of his stuff was taken he was robbed the place was in complete ruins and i felt so so bad for him i knew he didn't have an emergency fund and he asked me if he could borrow eighteen hundred dollars at the time it was to replace a computer and a couple of things that were most pertinent to his life and his ability to be able to earn money so we came up with a very detailed schedule and unfortunately it was excuse after excuse after excuse and to this day i haven't gotten that money back when i see him on social media like literally i want to cringe because i get that it was kind of like doing good work or charity work but i want to choose where which charities i support not necessarily that i want to just not have my money returned to me i mean i wanted to share that story because sometimes that actually does happen and the truth is, there's not much I could do to get it back. So here's my challenge to you. Next time a friend reaches out to you and asks you to borrow some money, whether it's a hundred bucks or 5,000 bucks, I want you to really listen to yourself. I want you to assess the entire situation and make sure that your voice about how you feel about the situation is much louder than their voice. I'd love it if you leave a comment below letting me know what kind of situations you've been in hope you like this video and that you learned something and maybe have some tools going forward. If you did, I'd be grateful if you subscribe. It's free. And if you share it with your friends. And if you want even more tips and tricks to make your financial journey fun and exciting, come on over to leemore.money and sign up for email updates. Remember, I'm not here to change who you are or how you live your life. I just have strategies to make you even more financially fabulous. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Till then, Stay fabulous. No, you can't have my money. No way you can't have my money. Mm-mm-mm. You're not getting my money. Eh.